Millions of Americans, as well as millions across the globe, have been negatively affected by the COVID-19 pandemic. Significantly for children, what was thought to be a week off from spring break turned into months of uncertainty. Hi, my name is Jacqueline Aranjo, and I'm a student at San Jose State University. The title of my research is Youth Sports and COVID-19, Exploring the Social and Emotional Impact During the COVID-19 Pandemic. My research question was, what impact does shelter in place have on youth who typically are participating in sport? Firstly, we want to cover the importance of participating in youth sports. This can range from social skills, which brings executive functions such as attention, memory, organization, self-discipline, strategic behavior, self-monitoring in relation to time. Or you can learn social roles such as it lays down the foundation for perceptual, social, and cognitive development, which ultimately gives participants skills needed for future settings such as career choices. How about sports at school? As of July 1st, 2020, Governor Gavin Newsom agreed that the minimum time an institution is required to teach instructional play can be waived. This means that schools are not required to have physical education as part of a curriculum. Not only has education been difficult, but this is also unequally harmful for certain socioeconomic groups. Economically, parents that did not have the financial means would rely on school seasonal sports, Post-pandemic, due to the hardships faced during the pandemic, club sports or federal funds may be affected. My research methods consisted of using search engines such as EBSCO, King Library, and Google Scholar. The population in question were primarily youth between the ages of 5 and 17 who have participated in sports and are now affected by shelter in place. I used keywords such as youth, sports, and COVID-19. To answer my initial question, I looked up the cost of social development and I found that the absence of extended community, which includes teachers, counselors, and overall mandated reporters, negatively affects youth overall. For instance, children can live in an abusive household and not have a second eye for report, or they may lack necessities that can typically be provided from a school, such as guidance counseling, emotional counseling, in-person tutoring, and so forth. Sports gives a participant the opportunities to learn valuable lessons, This can also help with building relationships, learning how to work in groups, or learning how to coexist. Again, social rules lays down the foundation for perceptual, social, and cognitive development. This is because sports are highly structured and give the opportunity for participants to balance school, work, and leisure. Not being able to interact with teammates can potentially hold back youth from developing. One article mentioned, during adolescence, kids identify with their peer groups the importance of social status, relating to groups and friends, and having the opportunity to observe traits and social roles. This is done independently without an adult influence. On the other hand, emotional development is also affected during shelter in place. A similar trend amongst multiple youth and COVID studies are that the development of depression and anxiety is common while in shelter in place. If we were to see a timeline of 2020, we see youth go from a heavily structured routine to now having more freedom, but also managing their own schedule. This is a new added pressure to youth, which depending on family size can make them feel lonely. This new structure is new to everyone. So not only are the children adjusting, but the parents as well. This may lead to a stressful family dynamic. With thousands of people now at home, Parents or guardians must be able to manage their child's care, education, emotional needs, on top of their usual parenting and their own workload. The Santa Clara School District provided a few links that are listed below, which provides parents with a guide to better understand their child's emotional needs. Suggested activities that can be done at home, one is to join a neighborhood group that is also allowing safe and socially distanced activities. Although we are still in shelter in place, it is important for children to get their daily exercise or participate in sport. Overall, with this presentation, I would like to stress the importance of sports for youth. Mental health, social development, and physical development are all factors that are being affected by the COVID-19 pandemic. Guardians should not only be aware of these negative effects, but they should also be able to pick up signs of anxiety and depression. The negative impact of COVID-19 far outweighs the positive. Since we have been in shelter in place, youth sports have been put off until the future. It is important to remind youth that physical activity should be done daily. Again, 
My name is Jacqueline Naranjo. Thank you for coming to my talk.